Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel Panther School. My name is Amit Singh, and I'm really, really apology for not being active at all from last six to eight months. I have been dealing with some personal issues, and uh, now I'm back here. I'm going. I'm really excited to share the content with you all, the new content that I have planned throughout the year and the coming years as well. So. Yeah, if you have not subscribed, you're new to the channel, please go ahead, do subscribe the channel. Also, press that bell icon that will help you to get the notification immediately whenever we are publishing any content or we are scheduling any content. Now, let's talk about what we are going to learn here in today's session. So, I know that we have. Uh, uh, stop the whatsapp and salesforce integration in the middle itself we are not going to continue at least today here but from the next video we are going to start from there itself so what we are going to learn here in this video is we are going to learn how you can create a model using the lightning model api so in the recent release salesforce has introduced this new concept and this is really good because we read really don't need to uh, write the lot of CSS code for creating a model. We really don't need to worry about the other things because now Salesforce is going to take care of everything from, uh, for us. So let's quickly go to the VS code and we are going to start there. Now, first of all, let me tell you that there are three very important tag that Salesforce has came up with. One is the body. One is header and one is footer. And out of these three tags, these three HTML tags, Salesforce make sure that the, whenever you're creating a model, this lightning model header is not header, the body is required. And then it has footer as an optional and then header as an optional value. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to import lightning model from the lightning forward slash model API itself. So what we have to do is we have to write the code something like this where we are saying import lightning modal from lightning modal api this is going to give you the capability of opening or closing the modal now next thing what we have to do is now our class currently our class is extending this lightning element that we are importing from lwc library but here we have to extend our lightning model and this really is not needed for us so we can just go ahead and comment out this for now so this is a simple model that we have created now we have to go to the html file and here as we talked about right we have to put i at least the lightning model body tag because that is really needed for us but what we will do is we are really going to use lightning model header that's going to take the label as a value and then here we maybe we will say my model this is the header that we have then similarly we are going to have a lightning model body instead of header and within this body we could have some content like say my model content and then in the last we are going to have footer maybe we wanted to have some buttons like cancel or close okay so let's quickly have a button over here so just the simple content we have added over here not much content we are going to maybe modify as per our need now this model we have used there has to be a container component that will contain our model because if you kind of maybe uh, you can imagine any situation or a requirement in your mind where you are kind of Developing a model, right? So, on the click of a button or on a certain condition, you want it to showcase a model. So, there is a container component which is containing the model. So, similarly, we are going to have a container component. So, first of all, let's deploy this code to our uh, environment. And at the same time, let's quickly create a new web component that I'm going to say mo model container. And here, the first of all that we have to do is we have to import this model. So how we will import it we'll say import and maybe you can name it as anything like my model from and here we will say the namespace of our org 
which is by default C, forward slash the name of our component that is modal. So we have imported this modal component. Okay. Now here, what we have to do is this is really important. This is something that we have to really uh, keep in mind. So maybe let's create a button called uh, method, not button, handle click. Okay, or maybe handle open. Now within this modal, there is a method called open. So what you have to do is maybe you have to say my modal dot open. This is the name of your method, okay? And it takes some object as an input, some parameters like what is the size of your modal. So it can accept a small, medium, or large. We will say large. Then the description about your modal. These are the three things it takes initially to create a model now this method this open method is actually an asynchronous method so we have to wait for model to open so we are going to utilize the await over here now when we use await within a method that method should be used as async so it's like async await now whenever you close the model right whenever you close a model it actually returns something either Undefined, or maybe if you wanted to send some information like uh, the object it has selected, or maybe the complete row of a table, right? It has selected. So, to do that, in order to do that, what we will do is maybe we'll create a constant variable and we'll say result equal to await. So, whatever it is returning to us, we are storing in a variable called result. And now, let's do a console.log. So whatever the result we are getting, we are putting it into a console. Now let's go to the HTML file, and here we are going to use LWC card, okay? And maybe we are going to change the title to my model. And here, within a division tag, I'm just putting a class to the division tag, where I'm going to put a margin all around large. And then within that, I'm going to have a button, and maybe we'll say open modal as a label. You really don't need the title, we'll get rid of this. The method name is handle open. Okay, so what's happening here is we are basically having a simple HTML with a button which says that handle open that is basically going to call our method called handle open in the JavaScript. Now let's go to the XML file, the meta file of this. We are going to expose this. We are going to maybe master label say my model. And then we are going to define the target. And within target, there has to be at least two, one target element where we are going to use our component. So I'm going to say lightning homepage. So this is the page where I'm using my component. Now what, what here we did is we created a model, we imported that model over here, and within that model, there is a very simple content. And then within our container component, HTML file is having a button, JavaScript having a method call that model. That's it. Now let's deploy this component as well, the modal container. And once we are done with the deployment part, we will see. How our model is working fine, working fine or not. So this is my org where I have deployed the code. We have to first add that component here in the home page because that's what the target I've selected. To add that component, click on this gear icon and then select edit page. Now from the left hand side under the component, search for my model because that's what the name we have given in the meta file. Drag and drop where you want and you are going to see your component like this, where you have my model coming up in in the party. Right, we are able to see that within the style, or within the light card which we have created. If you click on open model, it is actually opening the model where it does. Uh, it has got the title, the header we have given. It has got the content. The save button is doing nothing, but if you click on this close icon, it's going to close your model. And if you do the inspect. And after doing the inspect, let me show you that within the console, 
okay let me again clear this and you'll click on this open okay says document click and if you click on cancel you see that this is the result it says undefined so anytime you close this model with this close button that's going to return as undefined for you which will say that model has been closed using the cross icon now let's get back to our html file let's say that we wanted to pass some values to this model from this component because in most of the cases you would be needing some value there in the component so to get those values what you have to do is maybe now this uh, uncomment the top line and use at the rate api over here and here we are going to use at the rate api and maybe let's say content okay and maybe we are also going to say record id and maybe then say object api these are the three api variables that we have created down to your model first of all we are sending this label right which says that my model label or maybe my custom model okay so if you if we wanted to use this label to be appearing in our model header so instead of our custom label we have to really provide this label like this now for the content we are going to use the content whatever we are getting from them and i'm going to use this content within a paragraph because i'm going to also utilize the other two parameters that you are taking like record id or object api okay so i'm going to create another division tag over here and here also i'm going to have a class so this class that i have applied is sldes margin around small and here i really wanted to have a record form lightning record form we wanted to have this and this lightning record form takes few input like uh, what is the record id we are already getting that then object api name we are also getting as an input maybe it says layout type we will say full columns let's say two and then what is mode we will say always open in the mo edit mode okay now which record it has to open that is coming from this particular javascript file and then for which object this record belongs to that is also we have here now this is again this is the content which i have added within my model i can add any content it could be a data table it could be a search functionality it could be a simple or alert message showing that okay do you really want to continue it's going to delete blah 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 all those kind of content you can put in here in your modal component now we have deployed this now to we need to pass this content record id and object api name right so how you are going to pass it very simple just use your variable name now i have passed the value for all three variables like content object api name record id that i will uh, take it from here I really have to take a uh, record id so let so i've just taken account id hard coded for me but maybe in your scenario it could be you are picking the account id from certain conditions maybe within a for loop or maybe from a, a list of records could be any such scenario where you are getting the account id or maybe other information that you wanted to pass so we have just deployed both the changes now let's refresh this page and you will clearly see the difference now you will see that okay we are able to see the details of account there in a modal you see that modal is coming it says now it says my custom modal because now we've got the label there it says container a like content from the container component we clearly see that and if you scroll down you clearly say that there is a cancel and save button because we have got that kind of information within our modal and if that's the case we really don't need the save button if that is the case but there could be some other case where you need maybe save and cancel them right and if you do maybe save your record is going to update and you will see the information over here in updated form so that's the one thing next thing is that let's say you are able to close from here but sometimes you click on save or update or maybe next or maybe process 
and you wanted to close your modals, how you are going to close it. So to do that, you have to go to your code modal component. This is like maybe you have to uh, bind a method called on click and you will say handle click. That's going to be the save. And then maybe I'm going to have a cancel button as well. And to put the space, we will have ampersand NBSP so that we can clearly have the space between these two buttons. Now let's define this method. So this is handle click, okay. Then this is the handle cancel. So this one is for uh, saving a record, this one is for canceling a record. So what you have to do is just very simple and easy way. Just use this dot close and whatever the value you want it to pass, maybe cancel. You say cancel. And for this save, you can say this dot close and say save. Or maybe okay. You could you could give any value. Even you can pass the object, the array of objects as well, like this. Maybe um let's say we are saying message save record id it is got record id that that would get returned to your parent com okay and then let's go ahead and save it and any like you can pass any information here whatever you want to pass but we have passed as an object so this is coming as an object over here so maybe uh, we have to use something called json json dot stringify to showcase that value is coming and we are able to print it because once the value actually comes from an event or from a modal child component it actually comes up in a proxy format and you cannot really view it so yeah we are done with the changes let's go ahead and now refresh this we have got modal you can see there is a cancel button now and if you click on this cancel it actually closes your modal and you've got the cancel is coming as part of your result right now let's again click on open modal and then maybe click on save you can see that this message is coming whatever we have sent whatever we have sent from the child component is coming to your parent component so now the communication part is also being taken care by uh, this Modal, the API that Salesforce has given you that you really don't need to worry about. So that's all about this video. If you really have to create the model from the next, uh, from your upcoming work or maybe in your project, try to use this functionality, this API instead of writing the SLDS and all those things, putting into the same component, displaying in case of if or else conditions, or maybe using LWC if or LWC else. So use that, the concept of Latin modal and it will, it is really going to be a good thing for us. I really enjoyed and I really liked this upgrade from Salesforce.